By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a bar chart with Chart.js as well as have multiple data sets as well as how to configure the visual aspects of each individual data set. Let's begin. All right, so first thing we need to do is go ahead and bring in our doc type. This is just our standard HTML boilerplate. And then we're going to bring in the CDN link um, for Bootstrap, not necessary for Chart.js, but for the contacts here, just to have some styling, we're gonna be using that. And then of course, next we will bring in the Chart.js library. And then we're going to, just to keep things separated and clean, keep uh, our JavaScript in its own file that we're gonna import called barchart.js. And then uh, this is just some standard uh, bootstrap styling. We're gonna create a row and justify content center with a margin top of four. That way our, our chart is centered here on the screen. Um, that's gonna be a column 10, just so it's not filling up the whole width. And then just throwing it into a card and card body to make it look nicer. And then finally our actual canvas element, which we're giving an ID of my chart. So now moving over into our JavaScript file, we're going to go ahead and create our labels and our Y data values for the chart itself. Uh, so with that chart, JS is basically expecting a, an array. So for the labels, it is of course an array of strings. And for the datas, the Y values, that is going to be an array of integers. So we're going to go ahead and create a new chart by bringing that new chart object. And we're passing that context from our canvas element that we defined in our HTML. And then we're defining the type of chart as a bar. This is just a string. And next, the data object is going to contain the labels, which is the months array that we defined earlier. And then it's going to contain a data sets object, which is an array of objects and inside of that. For each data set, basically, it's going to contain a label, which is what the data is representing. And then I'm also passing a background color just for some basic styling. And then finally, the data itself, which is that array of Y values. And that's it for just a basic bar chart. That's all the code that's needed. Now, before I dive into the different configuration options for bar charts, I want to go ahead and add a second data set because I feel like it's important for you guys to know how to do that. So let's go ahead and define a another array of just 12 different integers. And then we're going to add a second object inside our data sets array. And that's going to contain a label, a background color and a data object, which is referencing our second array. And just to make this a little bit, let's say that sales are green, green is good, sales are good, and then refunds are bad. Let's go ahead and hit save. And then we've got our second data set now being charted uh, on the canvas. All right, so the first thing that I noticed when I visit the bar chart docs on Chart.js's website is that the, the bars here are actually RGBA values. So let's go ahead and integrate that with our chart by turning the background color for refunds to red and the background color for sales to green, both with a 0.5 opacity. Let's save our changes and check out our page to see that the changes have been applied to our chart. All right, so everything that I've showed you so far has been data set specific. So let's go ahead and dig into how we can access the chart options to change the overall uh, aesthetics of all the bars by giving them all a radius without defining it inside each data set separately. So this is relatively easy to do. According to the bar chart documentation, changing the, the options for all bar data sets is siloed down into options, data sets, and bar. So let's go ahead and add our options, and then we're going to add a data sets object inside of that, followed by a bar object, and then set the border radius to five. We'll save and refresh, and then see that now our chart has a nice little border radius. We can also go through and make that more severe, let's say by 10 to change the overall styling of of all the bars without it being you know individually defined all right and the last thing i want to show you guys is how to hide the the grid lines on our chart so on the documentation if we go to axis we can see all the common options to all axes axes and the namespace is drilled down into options scales scale id and we see that it's possible to set the display to a boolean it takes a boolean value or a string uh, of true or false so let's go ahead and add scales and we're going to add an X and a Y object for each of the different, you know, X and Y grid lines. And we're going to go into the grid and set the display to false. And when we save that, it gets rid of all those grid lines, making more of a, a modern looking chart. But ultimately what I'd recommend for you guys to do is any type of chart that you're using with Chart.js is just check out the documentation because it really is very customizable. Um, just about anything you can imagine. Uh, you you can 
adjust. And if it's not something that's included with Chart.js, more than likely there's a plugin that's available as well. So yeah, now you guys should know how to uh, how to create and customize a, a bar chart with Chart.js. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe uh, to the channel as I continue to release uh, more and more videos, hopefully on stuff that you guys find helpful. Until next time, talk to you later.